Hey everyone, so this video will be in English. In my previous video, which is part 1 of the same topic, I did a parametric family of recessed ceiling. Now as promised, I will do the hidden strip light to be installed on the recessed ceiling and become part of the object family. Let's edit the family file of this recessed ceiling. Click on the family object, then click the edit family button. I cannot see the edit family button in the camera view so let's move to 3D view to find the edit family button. Once this open then we will make the strip light and we will load it to the is family file. Now let's create the strip uh, light in a separate family. I will not use any of the lighting fixtures family for now. I will use the generic models uh, line base. Save it as. Make sure you have the right unit. Let's use millimeters. And now I want to install this line family to our recess ceiling family. But this line family doesn't have any object other than a reference line. A reference line will not be visible when we load it to the other file. So it will be difficult to work with. Now let's create a model line along the reference line. A line both ends to the reference planes on both sides let's lock it where we need to now let's load it to the recessed ceiling family file the rfa file let's try put it here somewhere uh, place on face okay for now let's see what's going to happen oh i missed it uh, it should be here under families project browser families strip light let's do the line now we can see the line there okay now i'm going to uh, align this align the end lock it now let's make sure that this line will always be 30 millimeters away from the opening edge. Lock it. Do the same thing to the other three sides. Right click on it and click create similar. Now let's make sure that these four strip lights are on the right work plane. Select all four strip lights and orbit the 3D view. Looks like they are too low. They should be in the middle plane. To fix it, make sure we have all four selected. Then click edit work plane. Choose the right work plane. Now they are on the right plane. Now I'm changing the parametric dimensions just to make sure the strip light will follow along as they changed. Looks like everything is working. The strip lights are only line objects now. Let's give them the real light source. Select one of them and click edit family. Now we will put light fixtures along this line. Open new family and choose generic lighting fixtures. Save the file as something light fixtures. 
this yellow circle is just a symbol for light source it doesn't have any object yet let's create a simple extrusion project use extrusion under create tab I just create an extruded circle with small diameter we make this object just to have something to see and easy to work with let me set the project unit first click UN to open the project unit window set it to metric unit click OK for the creation process now let's open any elevation view to check the height just use the blue arrow grip to fix the extrusion height let's make it as short as possible now let's bring the yellow light symbol down we want the yellow light symbol and the cylinder to be close to the default reference level because reference level is where our host model which is the strip light family model going to be now later on we will multiply these light fixtures along our strip light line so we will have many of them that's why we don't want the intensity of the light source to be too strong still in the right source file open the family types change the initial intensity parameter to 150 i don't want this object to show up when i render the project so let's change the material to something more invisible i will use a clear glass material now it's ready let's load it to our striplight.rfa family file Choose the file and click OK. Once it's loaded, put it close to one of the endpoints of the line. Be in the plan view so we can do it accurately. Use Align tool to align the center of the object to the endpoint of the line. Now let's multiply this object along the line by using the array command. Check the last radio button and click the other end of the line. Change the number to 10. Align the last object to the end. Now we want the amount of light to be parametric. I mean we want the light objects to be more when the strip light is longer and the light objects to be less when the strip light is shorter. To do that, let's select the array object. Click on the dimension. Click the label add parameter at the top. Let's give it an instance parameter and name it lights amount. Now click the family type button and let's create a simple formula. Find the lights amount row and fill in the formula column. We want the object to be 100 millimeters apart. Type in length divided by 100. Let's check if it works. Okay, looks good. They're about 100 millimeters apart. So I'll go undo and reload it to our strip light family object files. Now in strip light family file, let's play with the parametric dimensions to check if the light amounts get updated as well. So everything looks good now. Let me try to load it to our project. Choose the ceiling RVT file and click OK. Go to the camera view. I'm still seeing the light fixtures object behind the ceiling when it's supposed to be hidden. Let's go to the light fixture family file to fix it. I will scale down the dimensions to make sure it won't show in our camera view in our project let's change the height and the diameter
Now save it and load it to the strip light family file. Load the strip light family file to recess ceiling family file. And now load the recess ceiling RFA to ceiling RVT. Let's check the camera view. Looks good. I'm quite happy with it. Let's try to render it. Let's just use uh, medium. For lighting, uh, put interior artificial only and hit render. Now we have our parametric family of recess ceiling plan with a strip light behind it. Now let's do another recess ceiling on the other corner just to check if our family object is working. Load the family file and put the family object on a proper distance from the wall. Don't forget to create the ceiling above. This video is being speed up. Okay, this will be the end of the video. Please don't like to like and subscribe. Thank you.